Hi, I'm JD, and what we're going to be doing today is a distance problem. You have two cars leave at the same leave the same point at the same time, and they go opposite directions. One car travels east at 50 miles per hour, and the other car travels west at 40 miles per hour. And how many hours will they be 300 miles apart? So if you would, pause the video and see if you can try this one on your own. Alright, first things first is you always want to draw it out. They're going opposite directions, so you have one car going west, you have the other car going east. So let me draw the cars. First car and the second car. Like that. And so one's going that direction, the other one's going this direction. So they're getting further and further apart, right? They're starting at the same point and they're getting further and further apart. So you have two distances and the miles apart, right? is that whole entire distance. You're adding the two distances together. So that's the total distance. So let me do this. So the setup is D1 plus D2 equals the total distance apart. Now the times are going to be the same. How do I know that? Because it tells me. Same time. So I can use T for each of those, and plus on top of that, I'm looking for hours. So that's my variable. So I have this distance, D1. D1 is the one that travels west. So the rate of that is 40 miles per hour times T. Remember, distance equals rate times time. Plus the rate times the time of the second car, the one traveling East. So that's going 50 miles per hour, and you times that by t, and then the total distance apart is 300. Alright, and then you just solve for t. So you add these two together, 40t plus 50t, that's adding like terms, so 50 plus, sorry, 40 plus 50 is 90, keep the term, equals 300. Now you're going to divide both sides by 90. Alright, when you do that, this cancels, and this is going to cancel too. Um, it's going to simplify. You have time equals 300 over 90. I know both of them are divisible by 10. So I'm going to knock off a 0. So I have 30 over 9. I know both of them are divisible by 3. So I'm going to divide the numerator and the denominator by 3. When I do that, 30 divided by 3 is 10. And 9 divided by 3 is 3. So my time is 10 thirds hours. And if you want, you can make that a mixed number. So that would be 3 and 1 third hours. So it's going to take them about 3 hours, 3 hours and a third to be exact. If you want, you can calculate the minutes on that, but you don't necessarily have to because the answer is in hours. So, and you're going to see one or the other if you're doing a multiple choice test. You're not going to see both of them. So that's it. So it's going to take them about uh, 10, and 10 thirds hours for them to be 300 miles apart. And that's it.